car has enslaved us. If we are to understand cars and how they so completely define our culture, we will need to begin at the beginning. Come on, honey, here we go. It had started so innocently. Okay, we got spark. A man sweet-talking to the love of his life. Carriages chugged off without their horses a hundred years ago. Now, at the end of the century, the changes we have witnessed are, well, monumental. At the turn of the century, 20 million people lived more than a day's ride from town. Most farmers had milk cows and other animals that had to be cared for daily. Hitching up a team and wagon for a town trip was an infrequent and difficult event. The car brought freedom from all that. One of the central myths of our car culture is that Henry Ford invented the automobile. He did not. No one person really invented the automobile. The first models were a rolling collection of assorted parts from many inventors. The French are generally credited with the first successful gasoline engine in 1861, 35 years before Henry Ford. It managed to wheeze along, generating a thundering one and a half horsepower. It turns out that horses are involved in another myth of the car culture. The automobile brought pollution to cities, right? Wrong. Before the noise and stench of cars, there was the noise and stench